Today I will show you how to make a crazy fade transition. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have just some clips of Yeet from one of his music videos. I have cut the clips up as you can see here. So this is clip one and this is clip two. So what we can do is actually go to the next clip, the one that we're going to transition into. And here we can right click, go to blending mode and here we can start to mess around. So you can pick whatever blending mode you want here. The one that works the best for you is great. So like you can pick for example screen, but as you can see, here it's way too bright so we gotta go back to blending mode and i would recommend for like parts where it's too bright i would like recommend maybe something like overlay i think it overlay looks really really good uh so we instantly get it to look like this obviously that looks really really bad so what we need to do is go back to the first clip and here you can do a couple of things what you can do is like you can go to wire transitions and here you can press ctrl d uncheck this layer because i'm not gonna use it right now and here you can press ctrl shift d to cut this layer and you can call this layer to freeze and now we can right click go to time and make it to freeze frame so what this will basically do is just freeze frame it obviously that looks horrible right now so what we can also do is press ctrl y and add an effect called transform and first we can make the scale to 100 and we keyframe it here and here we can go to the ending and here we can make the scale to like 125 for example sometimes this might be a bit too high and now let's see it still looks really Really, really bad all right so what you also need to do is you need to press t on the freeze layer and this will bring up the opacity now the key is here to keyframe the opacity at 100 and go to the ending and here let's keyframe the opacity you can keyframe here from 0 to 50 even let's just do 15 right here so it will pretty much like fade out like this but we can also select all the keyframes press f9 and go to the graph editor and here the graph editor let's make this go a bit down and i like to make this point go kind of far away like this so it pretty much like just fades out like this and that still might not look deep as i'm not gonna lie so for this clip you could have made this to zero but we can make this so much cooler so what we can also do is you can press ctrl y and on this adjustment layer you can for example add shakes or whatever you want so we can add s to solve shake if you have the sapphire plugin and we can make the dissolve percentage at the start to like let's say 41 go to the ending and here let's make it to zero now let's press U to see the keyframes, select them all, press F9, go to the graph editor, and here we can make the graph something like this. So it would go in like this, pretty much like a really cool transition, very simple by the way. Uh, but we can also delete the S to solve shape. And here on this layer, I actually like to go to animation presets, user presets, and I absolutely love to use my impact presets pack, which I made to have incredible impacts for your edits or music videos or whatever other video I think projects that you might have and these are insanely viral presets that you have probably seen used in a lot of edits so here I like to add extreme ripple on top of this adjustment layer and with extreme ripple this is how it already looks looks actually insane just like that but what we can also do is go on top of this adjustment layer that we had transform on press ctrl y and here I like to add puddle impact now puddle impact what it's pretty much going to do is I, I can actually uncheck this adjustment layer puddle impact is just going to give a puddle to the fading out yeet as you can see which looks really really cool and when you combine it with the extreme ripple everything just fits together really really nicely just like that all right so now we have another clip right here as you can see so what we can do is right click on this clip and go to blending mode and here i'm gonna try screen because this is not too bright uh, actually that background is a bit bright but doesn't matter whatever and uh, so <laughs> what we can do is go to the second clip press ctrl shift d right click go to time and freeze frame and here we can press t you know the key for the opacity go to the ending actually let's extend it and at the ending here we can make it maybe like i don't know 30 31 doesn't matter press f9 go to the graph editor and maybe make it yeah something like this and this is how it will look just like this looks mm, meh i guess well, you could make the opacity a bit lower maybe 19 percent and now let's go back on the third clip on top of it press ctrl y and here i love to add shockwave impact fix and here you can have this crazy look just like that or instead of it you can add plenty of other different effects so for example you can try dark color distort and this is how dark color distort looks absolutely ridiculous but i want to try one 
one more. I want to try colorful distortion shape. Oh yeah, that looks really, really cool. Although you can barely see the other character. So you might want to switch the blending mode right here. And yeah, we have pretty much made this absolutely ridiculous sequence. And I just want to let you know that if you would like to use my impact pieces pack, it's on my powikas.com website, which I have created to help video editors just like yourself have insane visuals. And as a thank you gift for watching the tutorial and just supporting the channel, you can also use code Povikas to save $5 off on the impact presets pack. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.